everyone it's Jen welcome back to my channel and welcome if you are new I'm so glad you could join me at my craft table today today's video is not necessarily a craft but more of a tutorial on how to calibrate your machine so I wanted to decorate my Cricut Joy just like I have my maker here with some print and cut designs and this is just on printable vinyl and I actually have a video that shows you how to do that but what I noticed is that my machine actually needs to be calibrated so I wanted to walk you through that particular process so without further hesitation let's go ahead and get started the first thing you want to do when you bring up Cricut Design Space is you will come over here to your name and click on the drop down arrow and then you will go to settings and then you will go to machines and machine calibration. Now I want to calibrate my Maker 3. I'm decorating my Cricut Joy but that doesn't do print and cut so I just need to use my Maker 3 to do the print and cut but it's a very intricate design and I did a test cut already and it didn't really come out the way I planned so I think my machine needs calibration. So I'm going to go ahead after I select my machine I'm going to click start and then it will ask you for the type of calibration that you want to do. So today I'm wanting to do the print and cut calibration and I am going to, it's going to automatically select my printer and I'm going to hit print and this will go to my printer very quickly and then I will grab that sheet of paper and we will put that on the light grip mat and then we will click continue. Okay, so you can see that I have printed the calibration machine on my printer and basically what's going to happen is I'm going to, well, first of all, I'm going to use my light grip mat since this is just copy paper out of my printer. The next thing is once we load this into the machine and start the process, it will be cutting out this box here and we will decide if the cut is good or not. Then it'll make a series of cuts along these number lines and then along these lettered lines and we will choose a numbered and lettered line that is virtually perfect and then at the end it will cut along this particular box here in the middle and ask us if we're happy with that cut. This large box here is the registration box and this is what tells the machine where all of these elements are. So I'm going to go ahead and place the mat into my maker and then on my screen I will go ahead and click continue. Okay so we've already placed the paper in that top left corner so I'm going to go ahead and click continue one more time and then this is going to connect. We need to select the maker 3 and it will connect for us and then it'll start the process. We are just going to hit the the flashing arrows are going, so we're just going to hit those arrows. And then this will load into the mat. And the little LED light and the sensor will go around and it will it'll measure that box and register that so that it knows where to cut everything. Okay, so my flashing button is ready to hit go. And so here we go. So what the machine is doing right now is it is going around the large box that is around all of the images and the lines and it is just calibrating, well it's not calibrating, it is measuring where those are so that it knows where to do its calibration lines. Okay, so now the machine is just cutting around that yellow or that little square in the middle and our job without unloading the mat, we want to leave it in the machine, 
and I just usually use my finger and I go around and that is pretty much I mean that is perfect I really like that cut so I'm going to come over to my machine and I'm going to select yes proceed to fine calibration and hit continue so what the machine is doing now is it is going through each numbered line at the top and it is making a cut and then it will do the same thing along the right hand side where the lettered lines are and that will allow us to choose the combination that shows us the most perfect cut lines and this actually goes pretty fast. Now what we're going to do is we're going to just look along the top numbered row or lines and choose the one that is literally perfect and then we're going to do the same thing along the letters and we'll type those into the machine or actually we'll select them from the drop down and it looks to me like 11 is flat out perfect and let's see it really is a toss-up between J or K, but if I had to choose, I think I would choose, I think I would choose J. Okay, so I'm going to do 11 J in my machine, or in my computer, so the top line, I'm going to scroll down to number 11, and in the right line, I said I would like J, and then it will pulled it back in and now it's going around that large box here in the middle and again without unloading the mat I'm literally gonna go around and I'm just going to double check I'm gonna feel with my finger and I'm gonna inspect visually and actually that cut to me is perfect so the next thing for me to do is to select yes and if I had said no, it would allow me to do another calibration. So you can actually print more than one calibration sheet at the beginning of this process. And actually sometimes that's not a bad idea. I find that usually once is plenty. Okay, so I'm gonna hit continue. Calibration is complete. And I'm just gonna put that right there for right now. And then I'm going to click on close. Okay, so I hope this video was informative for you so that you know how to do the calibration of your machine. The next uh, video that I'm going to be doing is where this particular image here is a print and cut and it will be used to decorate my joy. So I will see you in that video for all of that process. But in the meantime, go ahead and hit like subscribe don't forget that notification bell and go ahead and share this video with your crafty friends if you found it helpful until i see you in the next video for the actual joy decoration print and cut project happy crafting thank you all so much for watching today i'm so glad that you can join me at my craft table if you're not already i'd love to have you as a subscriber and don't forget to hit that notification bell that way you'll know when new videos arrive have a great day and as always, happy crafting.